Viewers, today the Reuters published a report about Somali young men taken by force to Eritrea to serve in Eritrean forces. The Reuters interviewed three Somali families. Viewers, according to these families, their sons were hired by Somali government officials to work as security guards in Qatar in connection with upcoming football World Cup. But their sons ended up in Eritrea. They were forced to serve in Eritrean forces. One of the families told that one day NISA officials, National Intelligence and Security Agency of Somalia, its officials came and they informed the family that their son, uh, the family's son had died. And uh, the NISA officials uh, gave $10,000 to the family. Other two families say that their sons are still missing. They haven't reported back and reportedly they are in Eritrea. Was, uh, in two previous videos, I informed you about the reports that Eritrea had launched Somali soldiers uh, who were under training in Eritrea to fight in Tigray region of Ethiopia against Tigray forces. Eritrean government and Somali government both rejected these reports. Because today's story published by Reuters is not about Somali soldiers. This story is about ordinary Somali citizens who were taken by force to serve in Eritrean forces. Are they in Eritrea? or in Tigray. No one knows yours. Thank you for watching.